I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules so that I'm not always playing my favorites. I'm going to do an exercise called Charleston Force. This is where I pick three categories in advance and force hands in those categories. Another reason why I like to do that is because if you ever play in a tournament, they have prizes. Usually it's for maybe the first hand in each category on the card, or sometimes they pick a specific hand. And if you train yourself to force hands, you might come home with a prize. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to force hands in these categories. 369, like numbers, and 13579. Let's roll these dice to see which seat we're in. I rolled two sixes. So that would be a multiple of four. Therefore, we're going to be player four. Player four, non-dealer. I'm going to get 13 tiles and then I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. All right, we have a pair of Wests, pair of Ones, lots of four, six, eight, no twos, but we need to force hands here. I do see sixes, and one of them has a pair here. So I think we should try for like numbers. Like numbers. We could maybe do three, six, nine if we get threes and nines. So let's go ahead and break these up one of each suit let's see one eight let's break this up just in case we get all keepers so that way we're not passing four eight in one suit sometimes I like to look ahead a pass and create two defensive passes so here we've got a nine we could maybe play three six nine we picked up an eight. Oh, there's a green dragon. Let's keep it because there is that hand with dragons under like numbers. So let's keep dragons, flowers, sixes, and maybe threes and nines. Let's go ahead and break these up and pass these three. We got a six and a nine. Three, six, nine. We have tiles we can pass, so we don't have to pick a category yet. We're kind of in between three, six, nine and like numbers with sixes. We got a nine. There's a multiple and we got a flower. I think at this point we have to make a choice. I think maybe three, six, nine might be the better category here. Three, six, six, nine. Let's give up the dragon. We could still place like numbers and use the nines as joker bait. Oh, we got a three. Three, six, six, nine. We have tiles we can pass. We could still play like numbers with sixes. Let's give up one of the nines. We're just gathering three, six, nine, and sixes which are part of 369. Oh, we got a three. And we have two tiles to pass. We're on last right. I think 3669 would be good. I believe that's the second hand down under that category. Pung Kong, Pung Kong, Pung Kong, Pung, Pung Kong, Pung Kong, Pung Kong. We really don't need the three. But we could do 369 Kongs in one suit and use this as joker bait. Since we're so close 
and we have no gaps, let's risk passing that white dragon. See if we can get even closer. We got a flower. That's a keeper. We did even pick up a three. I think 369 for sure. And I think what I would do here is probably consider 369 Kongs and leverage the flowers. I would hold the 36 here because we could do 3669. Discard these first before we decide. Three six six nine. Either the second hand down or the fourth hand down. We're kind of in between, but we really don't have to make a choice till we run out of discards. I would say that could be a winner. Three six nine. Now we need to make these work. This time we're going to be in seat two because I rolled a six. Two, four, six would be seat two. Seat two. No jokers, no multiples. We need to make like numbers and odds work. Like numbers, we do have two fives, two twos, two nines. Let's get rid of the wins one at a time. And then let's give up the twos and the six. Hold odds fives and nines. So let's see if we give up west six eight, we might even be able to do like numbers with twos. Let's try it. We got a green dragon. There are like number, there's a like number hand with dragons. So let's keep that. We picked up a multiple, but we're trying to force hands here. So we're gonna break it up. Let's keep odds. Now we do have five, nine, five, nine, three, five, five, nine for an odd option. Let's see. Five, seven, nine, big odds with opposite dragons. We have no sevens though. Let's go ahead and give up a two. We got a dragon and a three. We do have a one here, that's an odd. There's two tiles to pass. Because our first multiple here is a dragon, I'm kind of thinking we could play one, three, three, five, little odds, or like numbers with threes, in which case I would keep the dragon and the flower. So let's go ahead and give up on the nine. Uh, let's see, maybe let's do, either way this is gonna be risky because we have year tiles. Let's go ahead and pass these three. Oh my goodness, I hope nobody would ever pass a pair. I think we could do like numbers with threes maybe. We have tiles we can pass. 
Let's not pick a hand yet. We're still in between little odds or like numbers with threes. There's a three. I think we should play like numbers with threes maybe. Let's see. One, three, three, five dragon. No gaps. Pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. Fourth hand down under odds. Let's keep the three, because we could still do kongs of threes with flower. Let's give up the green dragon. We got a three, and we have tiles we can pass here. Let's give up the three and commit to one, three, three, five dragon. We're gonna risk passing this white dragon because we have no gaps. We got the one. We have three tiles we could pass, but I would not pass a flower. Pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. We need a five dot and a red dragon. Let's pass one blind. We got the dragon back. Okay, three discards from odds. Little odds, one, three, three, five with the opposite dragon. That is the fourth hand down under odds. I think that could be a winner right there. I would throw the flower first and then probably the dragon and then the six. We could use some help here. These multiples are light, but we can use any number of jokers in there if we need to. Okay, we're going to go on to like numbers now. We've got to force like numbers. So this time I rolled a 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 would be player 2. So we're going to be non-dealer. Non-dealer. We'll get 13 tiles. All right, here we go. This is going to be interesting. We have multiples of ones and eights. We do have the twos. Two twos. Let's keep those. Let's keep the one and let's keep the eight. And we'll see if we can make like numbers work here. Ones, eights, or twos. Let's break these wins up one at a time. Pass one of each suit. So we're going to try to do twos, ones, or eights. White dragon, we could maybe use that. We do have a five now. Fives, twos, ones, or eights. Let's pass one of each suit. We got a flower and an eight. So like numbers with eights. We'll keep that. Let's keep the ones. Maybe we could do ones or eights if we get a one. Let's pass those two. Either way, this is going to be risky. Oh my goodness, look! Ones! Oh yeah, we're going we're gonna to go with ones. Like numbers with ones. So let's do five, eight, two. Okay, now we've got a five, a two. Let's give up an eight. 
We need ones. We got a flower. That'll be good. We have four, five, eight. No keepers. We got a two here. We're forcing like numbers with ones. So let's pass one of each suit for optional cross. No keepers. Five discards, really probably six discards, but look at all these ones. This is why you don't want to pass like numbers. So I would hold the white dragon because if we get other dragons, we could maybe do the concealed hand and use this as joker bait. So I would probably discard the eight first, hold the four six because they are like numbers. I think this is the strongest potential though. Like numbers with ones. We got work to do, but I think if you think about forcing hands, that's not bad. If you like to play in tournaments, give this exercise a try because really you can make anything work with the right decision at the right time. Another thing that people like to do is play every hand on the card. If you practice forcing hands, you can fill up that card with dots by playing only hands that you've not won yet. I do that all the time and it's another way to challenge yourself. Win every hand on the card in a given year. If you decide to do that, let me know. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Force for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.